morning. So we are back down in the veggie patch today and I've just put the final load of uh, soil into the raised uh, garden beds and it almost filled it. So we're, we're close enough. I'm not going to bother trying to get another load or anything like that. We'll just work with what we've got. It's way better than it was. So that is great. It's been about four or five days, I think, since we were last down here working on this. Um, you know, we're into almost into December now which means that it is the silly season and we are really busy with all sorts of things going on so the garden is kind of taking a back seat which is it's okay it is what it is so we'll see what we can get done in here today though um wanted to show you though that the beans the snake beans that we buried are doing fine and the sweet potatoes and pumpkin from the other bed that we buried are also doing fine. So let me show you those and then we'll get cracking on the next job. So these are the snake beans that were already planted in this bed before we filled it up. And they were probably about 30 centimeters lower in the ground. And uh, all I did was I didn't try and replant them or anything, I just buried them. But they seem to be doing fine. I mean, like I said, it's been four or five days and we have beans growing, quite a few actually. We're not gonna to be too far off starting to harvest those. And they look healthy. So I'm pleased about that. This is the other bed that we have refilled. As you can see, over the couple of days, it has dropped a little bit already. Um, we've had a bit of rain in that time, but you know, like I said, I'm not going to get any more soil at this stage. So these are the, uh, sweet potato slips that I replanted and they're looking okay they've had a little bit of shock I think from the transplant but they're doing okay these ones so this is a pumpkin and then also a sweet potato here sweet potato there they're the ones that I didn't dig up at all I just buried deeper so they're doing better um, but yeah we'll see how this all goes hoping to get down to the nursery today and get a couple of tomatoes and also um, plant a couple of extra things in here so talk you through my plans for these beds we did have tomatoes on these trellis here and they didn't look great when I pulled them out so I think I don't want to plant more tomatoes there um, we want to give that spot a break you can pick up like two Roma tomatoes and just plant them in here with uh, tomato cages and hopefully they being a determinate species will do okay in there then we have the snake beans growing up on this trellis in here we have the sweet potatoes and that pumpkin but this trellis is empty so i'm actually thinking maybe putting some more cucumbers and maybe a tromboncino on here cucumbers planted on the trellis in my capsicum bed and they're doing okay but i think i would like to have more and I also have some Tromboncino planted in here, which is starting to come up. But I think I'd like to try it somewhere else as well. just found something really disappointing. So in the last video, I showed you that I harvested a beautiful red capsicum. And I came down here and I saw, oh, yay, there's two more. I just wanted to have a look at them. At first glance, they look great. Then you get down here. Oh dear. But oh maybe the other one's okay. Nope. Okay, so here's the damage. This one they've actually chewed right through the bag. So these bags are on there as a protection against the Queensland fruit fly. Um so yes, they've chewed through that. This one they haven't chewed through the bag, but they somehow gotten the top open and eaten it. So I'm guessing these are rats that have done this. Um, I don't think a possum would have chewed through it like, I mean, maybe it would. I don't know. Probably rats though. So that's really annoying. I guess that means I might have to harvest things like capsicums a little bit earlier um, rather than waiting for them to fully ripen on the uh, plant. Mama! Good morning girls. Would you like some scraps? Some garden scraps? Yes? Oh, 
Well, I was just watering this capsicum bed and I found two green capsicums that have also been munched, which kind of kills my idea of uh, taking in the capsicums before they fully ripe. So whatever's eating them likes the green ones and apparently also likes jalapenos because my two jalapeno plants have been completely stripped of all of the fruit that was growing on them. Which I think confirms that it's not a possum, which I didn't think it was. I think I've got a rat. Hmm. Oh dear, there's always something, isn't there? From the nursery and I got a little punnet of Roma tomatoes so I just realized when I was there that I didn't actually check that these were determinate variety Roma tomatoes I'm pretty sure that most of them are um, look, it doesn't say it says it gets to 1.5 meters high so I don't know we're just gonna treat it as if it is a determinant and <laughs> we'll see how it goes okay well um so they can be planted 50 centimeters apart so i've got six of them i think i'm gonna shove like three in here maybe like one here one in the middle somewhere right next to this center bar and one like here and then the other three we will take to the farm on the weekend and my parents can plant them somewhere also brought down some uh, cucumber seeds and the seeds of trombonchino so we will get those in over in the next bed if we've got enough time we're going to do super duper quick because i've probably only got like 10 minutes before my son wakes up from his nap So tomatoes like to be planted deep, so I'm going to take off this bottom leaf here and then dig deep and plant it all the way up to there. Same on this one, I'm going to take off these bottom leaves like that and then plant it all the way up to This, by planting the tomatoes deep, it allows them to um, grow roots all the way down that stem and makes for a sturdier and healthier plant. Okay, so we'll get those watered in a second. I'm just gonna see if we can get these seeds planted. I'm going to plant some cucumber redlands white along this half of the trellis and the tromboncino on that half of the trellis. Uh, this is our favourite cucumber and um, got it growing down there. But we have had a few up there so far but hopefully we can get some more. Um, thankfully we are going away this weekend but it's supposed to rain while we're away so I think I'm okay planting seeds even though I'm going away.
unfortunately that's about all the time that I have to be in the garden today so I am going to say goodbye here. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you get out in your own gardens and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!